Hey, it's Will from Albert. In this video, I want to briefly go over all the things you can do as a teacher and student on Albert. Albert's a great way for you to learn anything through interactive practice. With over 50,000 practice questions in the APs, SATs, ACTs, Common Core, as well as NGSS, we provide a go-to place for students to master their respective courses. Let's go ahead and take a look first at the teacher end to see what's, what teachers see when they log into their Albert account. The best part about Albert for teachers is that we automate grading for you while allowing you to create custom assignments for your students. This saves you hours of prep time and allows you to better differentiate instruction. Let's go ahead and take a look at this respective classroom for this teacher. You can see here in the Biology Period 7 class that Albert will consolidate all the student performance in terms of how many questions they've answered as well as their respective raw accuracies. What's nice is that I have full control over this respective view and that I can change the date ranges if I'd like. What's also nice is that I can click into individual student performance. So let's go ahead and take a look at her, how her mining Granger has been doing. Here you'll notice in the individual student view all the breakdowns of how Hermione has been answering questions, her accuracy, as well as the time that she spent on the site. The same view can be seen in terms of customizing the date frames, as well as, in, in addition to that, I can see the breakdown of how she's done on past assignments. This can be a great way to have a working session with a student in terms of helping them understanding wh where they can practice the most and improve. So here you can see Hermione has done really well on this Potions 101 quiz, and I can actually isolate for her performance by clicking into that quiz. Here you can see with this assignment that Hermione spent a decent, uh, small amount of time on this assignment, so she naturally crushed it, and she answered all these questions right. What's also nice is that if I were working individually with Hermione, I can isolate for this question by simply clicking into the question, and there I would jump straight to the question so that I could work through with her on how to, uh, how she approached that question as well as other things that I might involve in an individual student working session. The other things that are nice about Albert is that we give you full control of your classroom. With the Manage Roster tab, you'll be able to either have your students input a class enrollment code or input a Google Classroom or email invitations uh, to your students. So this can be a super simple way for you to consolidate the way that you get your students started on Albert. What's also nice is that Albert provides an Assignments tab, which allows you to create custom assignments for your students. Assignments are a great way for you to assess how your students are mastering respective themes, topics, and subtopics that they're expected to know. Whoops. Something that you'll notice in terms of the Assignments tab is the ability to create templates. Templates are a great way for you to mix and match the order in which questions are given to your students, as you can see here, as well as delete questions that you may not necessarily like your students to see. So you, here you can see that I went ahead and customized that assessment and that I can also view all the explanations with respect to the questions that I've added to this template. The final thing that's nice about Albert's teacher tools is that we provide quick insights for you to isolate for theme, topic, and subtopic performance. Here you can see that I can isolate for natural selection very quickly and in less than a second see how my students are doing on that respective topic area. So all in all, Albert saves teachers hundreds of hours with respect to creating custom assessments as well as managing their classrooms to better differentiate instruction. Creating assignments is super simple. If I go into any of these respective subject areas, I'm more than happy to go ahead and click assign all for any of these topic areas. And what this will allow me to do is it'll allow me to quickly pick and choose which students I'd like to receive this assignment on natural selection, click next, and from there, I'm able to name an assessment, set a start time, as well as a later due date. I can choose a time limit if I'd like. I can allow late submissions, and I can also control when my students will see the right answer, whether I'd like them to get immediate feedback, delayed feedback, or something else. I can also leave a message such as please review your notes from class and then go ahead and click send. And simple as that, I've sent an assignment to four students that's due on August 26. And what you can see here is that we're fully integrated with Google Classroom, which allows you that easy view uh, to post that to your classroom and simply have your students have it quickly to start that assignment.
The next thing I want to show you is our student views on Albert. Being a student on Albert means getting immediate feedback at the moment in which you answer the question. So let's go ahead and take a look at the quality of our explanations. AP US History is a super popular subject in Albert, so I'm going to go ahead and click into Pre-Columbian Life, Native Life, and A-Push. Here you can see that if I switch out of teacher mode, I am now in student mode, and what I can see is I can see how I've done in the past on all these respective questions, as well as the respective question itself. What's nice about Albert is that we provide standards line practice questions for students, and as part of the student experience is our Eliminate tool. As I'm working through this question, I can eliminate answers and then hide my eliminated answers to practice the process of elimination. And now I can submit an answer, and here you can see that immediate feedback in terms of whether or not I got the question right or wrong. Something that's unique about Albert is that we provide detailed explanations for every single answer choice. What's also nice is that we're directly aligned back to the standards, and so here you can see that this question pertains to historical thinking skills 1 of analyzing evidence. As I work through the student experience, it allows me to quickly practice and move on to the each respective question. So here, I can see, again, I'm going to answer a question, and this time I got the question incorrect. So here I can see specifically why I got that question incorrect, as well as the respective tools that I'm expected to know in terms of those standards. Student experience is a simplistic way for you to practice questions and get that deliberate practice that you need to master a course. What's nice for students is that they can see how others answered the question, so you can see how on track you are compared to all the other users on Albert. Aside from just our practice questions, we also have a variety of secondary types of questions available for students and teachers, including our free response questions. So here you can see our library of uniquely created free response questions uh, that are just available on our site. Our free response questions provide you with exemplar responses to our sample uh, prompts as well as a breakdown of the alignment in terms of which historical thinking skills or other standards that each question is respected we testing. So it's a simple way for you to get additional practice beyond just what's available from other resources. All in all, Albert provides a simplistic view for teachers and students in terms of mastering their respective courses, as well as creating custom assessments. If you'd like to learn more, you can go to the school's page at our website to learn more about our product, the results we've had, as well as the relative pricing for your institution. If you have any other questions or concerns, feel free to email us at hello at albert.io.